Corliss Archer and Dexter Franklin. They're in love. Ah, love. The glistening eye, the pounding heart, the quivering hand, the fevered brow. It's either love or jungle fever. Let's listen in and find out. Love me. Boy, I'll say. You're the only girl in the world for me. You're the only person in the world for me. You're the only thing in the world for me. Nothing will ever come between us. Never. No, I'll never leave you for anything. Never. Holy cow! Now, what's the matter? Peter! And tonight we're having spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> boyfriend, and Dexter's the only boy I go out with, so you're just wasting your time. Would you like to try just one date with me? I'm, I'm Dexter's, Dexter's girlfriend, girlfriend, and Dexter's my boyfriend, and Dexter's the only, only boy I go out with, so you're just wasting your time. Flight <laughs> City Hall. Allow me. Is that all you have to say to me? Oh, here, have some. No, I demand an explanation. Huh? Oh, well, I came in before you, so I ordered without waiting. I'm sorry, Dex. That isn't what I mean. I come in here and what do I find? My girl, the woman who I worship the ground that she walks on. The girl with, with whom I have troughed my trough. I find her in the arms of another man. I demand an explanation. <laughs> I dropped my sweater. Yeah, and I picked it up. That's all that happened. Well, that's what it was. Really? <laughs> Gosh. Mr. <laughs> 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 <Sister> Franklin. <laughs> you again as long as we both shall live. Uh, huh? Here, you have the audacity to accuse me like that. Yeah, but holy cow, Corliss. The very idea of you thinking you had the right to think such a thing. Yeah, yeah, but, but That's I... That's all thanks I get for being as faithful to you as... as, as I've been faithful as faithful. Holy cow! What have you got to say for yourself? Holy cow! <laughs> Well, maybe now I'll have a chance with you, hmm? Dexter and I are through until the day after forever. But remember one thing. I'm, I'm Dexter's, Dexter's girlfriend. Dexter's my boyfriend. Dexter's the only boy I go out with. So you're just wasting your time. It's hard to figure out whether Corliss hates Dexter or loves him. Well, they say love is close to hate, which may be close to the truth. Anyway, Corliss is obviously close to Dexter, and Dexter is close to going nuts. Ah, oh, Corliss, please don't be mad at me. Please. No, I'm miserable. I'm even having nightmares. Yep, last night I dreamed we were married, and it was Saturday night, and you filled up the bathtub for me and put all my little toy boats in the water for me to play with. Oh, it was awful. 
What was awful about that? Did you ever sit on a submarine? <laughs> oh, Corliss. Uh, Corliss. Mr. Archer, I'm worried. No? You know, if Corliss keeps acting this way, our children aren't going to grow up in a very wholesome atmosphere. No, I suppose not. Women have a tendency to make life miserable for any man they're too sure of. You've got to remember that when you're in love. Yeah, but you're lucky, Mr. Archer. You don't have to worry about love. You're married. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't hold, Dexter. But let it pass. There was a time, though, when I wasn't married. Years ago, when Mrs. Archer and I first going together. And if I hadn't known more about women then than you do, if I'd let her think that she had me on a string, I don't think I ever would have gotten her to marry me. I remember one afternoon, it was in the drugstore. We kids used to hang around there every day after school. Fifteen cents. Fifteen cents? That's a lot of money. Not for three shoulders. All right. two hotsy totsies dancing together. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, you look mighty snazzy. Real katish. Oh. Thank you. Well, as long as we're all here together, why don't we sit together? I wouldn't think of warning you. You know what they say. Two is company and three is a crowd in a rumble seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Anybody expecting a phone call? Probably one of my many boyfriends. Yeah, you are the popular one. Hello? Harry, a girl named Alice wants to talk to you. What do you know? Hello? Alice? Alice, which Alice are you? <laughs> uh, the redhead? Uh, the blonde? The brunette? Uh, oh, you're Alice the Strawberry Blonde. Uh, hi, Alice. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm mighty busy, but I'll try. Bye! Anyway, and 
seems to me that's plenty of moons in such a little bitty lake anyway. <laughs> so if you'd like to go rowing tonight, I'll speak to my daddy because it's hard to go rowing without a boat. <laughs> Hello? It's for you, Harry. It's Alice. Hello. How are you, Alice? Boy, Janet, would I love to go rowing with you. Are you Alice the Burnett? Are you Alice the Redhead? Oh, you're Alice with the yellow corn silk hair. <laughs> I'd love to. But I'm mighty busy. I'll try. Bye. You know how beautiful it is with the moon shining on the lake and all of it. Hello, yes, this, this is Harry. <laughs> uh, Alice. Are you Alice the brunette? The redhead? Oh, you're Alice the platinum blonde. Hello, honey. <laughs> well, I'd love to. <laughs> well, I tell you, honey, I was thinking if, if we... <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> well, well, I tell you, cutie pie, I... Janet, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I was just, I was just... <laughs> Come on, sweetie pie. If we're going out to Lake Tippecanoe, uh, hooey, we better get started. Uh, <laughs> Charlie, if I get any more phone calls, tell my mother thanks very much, and she needn't call anymore. <laughs> Well, next year, that taught Mrs. Archer a lesson she never forgot. And from that day on, she never gave me a bit of trouble. But if I hadn't been smart and understood women, if I hadn't made her think that she didn't mean a thing to me, I don't think I ever would have gotten her to marry me. Well, that settles it. Thanks a million for the advice, Mr. Archer. That's exactly the way I'm going to handle Corliss. It's the only way. I'm going to make her think she means nothing to me. Less than nothing. Nothing minus. <laughs> What are you doing, Corliss? Waiting. For what? That. It's Dexter. Oh, you're going to make out. <laughs> it was so cute the way he was jealous. It makes a woman feel so warm and secure, knowing that her man gets jealous because he loves and adores her so. Corliss! Uh, Carlos, there's something I want to say to you. What, Dexter? You mean nothing to me, less than nothing, nothing minus. And uh, I don't care who you go out with or why, because I think that... <laughs> Archer. Yes, next year. Mr. Archer, are you sure Mrs. Archer married you? <laughs> and now, back to meet Carlos Archer. I can't understand it, Mrs. Archer. I simply can't understand it. Now, now, Dexter. Well, first she gets mad at me because I was jealous. Then she gets mad at me maybe because I wasn't jealous. Dexter, why did you tell Corley she didn't mean anything to you? I had an advisor. Who? Well, I, I, I really can't tell you, Mrs. Archer, because you see, it's confidential. 
Well, all right, if it's confidential. Oh, it is. You wouldn't want me to breach your confidence, would you? Certainly not. No. But he said it worked on you. <laughs> I see. He said you cried and begged him to take you back. Dexter, would you like to know what really happened? Well, sure. Well, when Mr. Archer and I first started going together, we had a little quarrel. Well, just a little lover's quarrel. A little quarrel like you and Corliss are having now. Mr. Archer was terribly upset. Oh, pull yourself together, Harry. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's no use. Says she never wanted to see me again. Never, never. Well, you just have that Janet see you like this, then you really lose her. Come on now, get that sad look off your face. <laughs> oh, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> well, that's better. Now look, when Janet comes in, act happy, independent. Table, all right, cutie. Oh, sure, Bill. This is real ricky ticky. Well, hello, Janet. How do you do, Mr. Archer? Let's sit down. <laughs> when you two meet, please let go of me. I would like a glass of water. <laughs> now, look what you've done, you clumsy lump. Somebody get me a towel. Here you are. <laughs> down the old ox road. No, you, you don't. <laughs> Janet, please, I love you. Don't be mad at me, please. <laughs> Shall we go, big boy? Oh, Janet, please, please, there's no other girl. I'm in the I love you. No use, Charlie. He's gone. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Some ruined man. There'll never be any other girl in the world for me, but oh. I love her so. Harry. She's the only girl. <laughs> Those eyes. That hair. Those lips. She's such a... She's such a... Girl. <laughs> Harry. You see, Dexter, a woman wants to be sure that the man she loves loves her and loves her alone. That's the way it happened, Dexter. 
that's the way true love is. And that's the way true love always will be. Gosh, Mrs. Archer, that's... That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, if Corliss can't be sure of your love, she can't be happy. And if she isn't happy, she can't really be in love. Well, from now on, Mrs. Archer, I'm going to make sure that Corliss knows I love her and nobody else. I'm going to give her my heart, my love, my devotion, my, my everything. It's all hers to, to cherish. Forever and forever. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Why do people cry over beautiful things? There is no intelligent reason for crying just because Dexter's love for Corliss is so beautiful and sincere and sweet and lovely and tender. And <laughs> now listen, Corliss, I I'd like to talk to you. I don't think we have anything to talk about. Goodbye, Dexter. Well, listen, Corliss, this is very important. You see, what I have to say to you is... Well, what I want to say Hi, to you Barbara. is... Hi, Barbara. This is Corliss. Oh, didn't we have a marvelous time last night? <laughs> well, I know how unhappy and miserable you must be not being sure of me. Oh, and wasn't Joe simply hilarious? Oh, he's such wonderful company. I just love going out with him. <laughs> I've never had so much fun in my life. That Joe is a riot. <laughs> well, well, you can stop being unhappy and miserable now because you can be sure of my love. I love you and only you. <laughs> See you later, Barbara. Goodbye. Oh, dear. It didn't work, Mrs. Archer. What didn't work? Well, Mrs. Archer told me about the way you... You begged her to, to please love you, and, and uh, I begged her. <laughs> Seems to me you were the jealous one. You begged me. I begged you. You, you begged, begged me. me. I begged you. You, you begged me. me. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Oh, Mom, that must be Joe. Would you let him in, please? I'll be right down. All right, dear. Yeah, but let me do it, Mrs. Archer. Oh, but next uh, Mrs. Archer, thank you very much for your advice. And, and, Mr. Archer, thank you very much for your advice, too, but... Well, I, I guess I'm going to have to settle this whole thing my own way. Oh, I, I thought... That Joe! That... Joe, I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> He's outside. He and Dexter are talking. Talking? You should see the other guy. <clears throat> Whoa! Mm, ready to go, Carlos? Oh, Dexter. My poor, dear, darling Dexter. I give up. <laughs> Dexter, let me give you a piece of advice. What I always say is that women are... You know, dear, I've been thinking. One nice thing about being a little older is you get over being jealous. I finished my homework. I'm going out now. 
see you later. All right, dear. Have a good time. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Nobody ever gets over being jealous. It's just a question of what a person is jealous of. Good night, Daddy. 